All right, hey, what's up everybody? Jonathan, Modern Pilates Instructor here. Today we're gonna to be going over a super reverse floor lunge. We call it super reverse because we're at the back of the machine facing the back. Our handlebars are also referred to as dog ears. So what I have you do is I have you step out to the left side of the machine because we're working your left leg. You're gonna turn the handlebar by lifting it up and then towards the left. Your right hand will pull the carriage in by the carriage strap and then you'll hook your foot at the furthest strap away from you. Once you have that taken care of, you're gonna hold the handlebar so that you can step your foot forward to get your toe underneath the bar. Then you're gonna meet me low and double check if your knee is above your ankle. This is gonna be very different for everyone, so if you're a little closer to the ground in height or taller from the ground in height, you may need to move forward or back. Now what happens that I see a lot is people are too far back and when they go down, their knees are literally above their toe. So what I have them do is hold the handlebar and step one foot forward, go back down, and that should correct the issue. Now, you can have hands like a prayer, hands on hips. I like hands behind my back because it pulls the shoulder blades back behind me to correct my hunchback. I have you exhale as you drive through the heel, up like an elevator, again, only 95% to not lock your knees and lose tension. You breathe in as you sit down and back like there's a chair to maintain the knee above the ankle. Exhaling as you drive through your heel upwards, and then breathing in as you sit down and back. Now let's talk about some of the variations. You can go down low and then have your palms at your side with your palms up, hinging forward to bring your palms up and down to pulse as you isometrically hold. Here we call this a ski jump. You're working your arms and shoulders as you hold isometrically burning out the left leg. Another variation that you can do is pulse. Once you're down low, you're gonna just go up to and down to. Depending on the instructor, some instructors will have you pulse fast. Sometimes I like to go slow. The reason why I want you to go slow, up to, down to, is because I want you to build a mind-body connection. By going a little bit slower, I want you to feel what it is that you're working rather than just listening to us as instructors and just pulsing because we tell you to. You should feel it in the hamstrings and glutes. Sometimes clients ask me, why is it that I feel it in my quads more than my glutes and hamstrings? And that's sometimes due to the fact that you have stronger hamstrings and glutes and not so strong of a quad. It could also mean that you're leaning a little too far forward and all the weight is going into the quadricep. So it's always good to talk to us as instructors before or after class. I have no issue with staying afterwards to go through anything. And if you're not in California or where I teach, reach out to me, DM me, message me, email me. My links are always in the bio and I have no issue, issue on or off the clock to help you. Um, another variation that I teach is from Legree. And what it is is you get down low and then I like to hold the handlebars just for safety. And what you'll do is you'll breathe in as you allow the knee to go back behind the ankle as long as you can. And then you exhale, pressing down your heels to bring the knee above the ankle. Hold for a brief second before you come up through an exhale. The reason why you want to hold for a little bit is because if you just go forward and then up, you're using momentum and you're not treating the exercise as a variation and uh, exercise in two separate ways. Um, other than that, that's it. Thanks for tuning in for a super reverse floor lunge. See you next time.